statement from Coach and open up for questions. Coach, whenever you're ready. Um, a lot of people would think that I would come in here and talk about disappointments and and obviously there are some things we need to work on, but um, I'm extremely proud of my team. And you know, let me tell you why. That last game we just played was an emotionally draining game for my players that have never been in that particular situation. People may say, what do you mean y'all went to the Sweet 16? That team did not go to the Sweet 16 last year. There are people from that team that went to the Sweet 16. And one of the people that went to the Sweet 16 was not playing the point guard position. It was an emotional draining 48 hours. And so I knew we would have to really hunker down to get a win tonight. And I am just really happy for my team that they found a way to do that. Execution out of timeouts was superb. Late game, Kui had an opportunity. She missed. Um, Kennedy Todd Williams, big shot in the clutch. Uh, Carissa Richardson, big free throws when we needed it to seal it. Huge defensive stop. This is my team, and we're going to continue to get better. And really, I'm really proud because this is our first game like this since we've had this group. I thought they did well. The last time we had a close game, we choked it off. We lost to Southern Miss. All right? And this team found a way to win, so I'm super proud. Disappointment, obviously, in the, you know, the 50 points and a half on Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, those first three quarters, it looked like you got back to, to the defense that, that we've seen you all play. What, what was working, or what did you all kind of just get back to? Well, our emphasis was to keep them out of the paint. Um, as you can see, I played a lot of people early. And because, see, basketball people, coaches understand the, this game is 90% is up here. And so I knew I would need to really work my starters late. So that's why I started to get fresh bodies in early. And I thought they did a decent job. We just, this was a challenging game for us to guard because we did some stuff we never do defensively. We weren't up in the passing lanes. We weren't aggressive because our, our philosophy is dictate and disrupt. And when you play Auburn, you can't disrupt them by stretching the floor. You got to pack it in. And so that was something new for us to do because we don't even play like that, you know. Um, as you can see, we don't even zone. So we play straight up. But we knew that we would need to – just sit back and, and pack it in, and luckily we were able to come out with a victory, and I thought they just followed the game plan in the first three quarters and, and started to unravel in the fourth, but still in the most important moments found a way to win. You talk about it being an emotionally draining game. I guess when you sense that in the game, mm -hmm. what is your message to your players, especially down the stretch? Yeah, well, I told them what was going to happen. I said, I'm going to tell you right now, this team is not going to go away. They're going to continue to fight. Um, it happened last year. And if we don't put them away, this is going to be a game. And uh, I, I guess there's power in the tongue. Maybe I should have said they're going to go away and they're not going to fight. And then maybe that would have happened because they did exactly what I said that they were going to do. Um, a resilient group. That's a credit to Coach Harris and – her getting them to play. They needed this win just as much as we did, all right? They got LSU next, you know, so we got Mississippi State next. Everyone's fighting. This is SEC time. And so um, I just told my team we want it this way. We want to end on the defensive end of the floor. That's our piece. Now, if we had to run and play to win, I don't know. I would struggle. But defensively, I felt confident, and we have been doing situations in practice, and we've been building up the courage to um, – uh, not the courage, the discipline to execute defensively when it mattered the most. We've talked a lot about 
offense. What what kind of challenge does having Maddie on the floor mm -hmm. where a point guard would, would, would be present for the other team defensively when you have that extra length out there? Yeah, well, you see, she just went ahead and got 10 points real quick. Um, and I had to play her a lot, and I think she just got really tired. Uh, the way we wanted to attack them required her to have the ball a lot. So I was very taxing on her. And um, she almost had a triple-double, but it would have been in the wrong way with turnovers. Uh, but 10, 8, and 5, 50% from the floor, 34 minutes. Come on, man. Um, uh, in a pressure-filled game like this, I, I, I love having her. Some of the passes she was able to make, like I get to put her anywhere. And she's like a dream come true for, for me, a 6'2 point guard. I told, I told Madeline, I said, when they announce her, then he stops saying forward. She's our point guard, you know. Um, she can see. Zakaya got in and tried to replicate and couldn't see the passes that Maddie was able to make and the things she was able to do. So I was really uh, – I'm really proud of her. And um, hopefully she's not too down on her, herself. She's a perfectionist, so she's probably – bugging out about the seven turnovers. Uh, but nevertheless, I thought she had a, a, a decent floor game. Where are you seeing Rita's game? And you all as a team, just where you all kind of become a blocking team or aspect to y'all's defense this season? Now, you know we've been blocking shots since I got here from Shakira Austin. But Rita, six offensive rebounds, you know, three blocks. I mean, Rita is just comfortable in the system now. Like she said, this is year two. Usually it takes two a year to learn our defensive system. Um, so she's comfortable in it. Um, and, and, and we expect her to be a force. You know, she had a really clutch switch off in, in I think at the end and she was able to get up and um, block the shot um, when we really needed to. But more importantly, it's important that we're able to get the ball inside to someone. Last year, I don't think we played with a post. And we, we didn't have it, you know. And Maddie was a forward. But now, like, we're looking. We're getting it inside to Rita. Um, and she's, she's been finding a way to impact the game, which is huge for us. We talked about that Southern Miss game. What do, you, what do you think you learned or maybe the team learned? from that tight game to have a different outcome this time around? Well, I tell you this, they were getting, we were getting ready to crumble. And uh, that's why I call it timeout. I wanted to kick myself, but then I said I was okay because it was one second to be able to advance it. But I really needed us to get the ball in, so I needed to draw up something anyway. Um, and I just told them in that timeout, we have been going through these situations in practice. I spend about 15 minutes at the end of every practice to work on situations. Us being up 55 seconds on the clock, down six, up, tie game. Like, they've been in that situation, all right? And, um, and uh, so they were confident. And I just told them to be confident, and I thought the coaches did a great job. Uh, sometimes... I don't like to say much because I already know the emotions are so high. Sometimes I just get a call a timeout so that they can just decompress for a second, breathe, relax. You know, sometimes you just don't need to say anything. You just need to give them a second to get it together. Um, and so in that moment, I really let my coaches use their voice and, and just ensuring them that we could get the stop. I was really proud of them. Looking ahead to Sunday, yeah. I mean, what does tonight's win and what you've learned from tonight do going into a rivalry game on the road? I'll tell you this, it's huge for us, all right? Um, I don't know how you scout us. One minute we score 73, next minute 55, next minute 58. We're, I, I, we're having an identity crisis right now. <laughs> but you know what? We're finding out ways to win. And uh, we found out another way to win today. And uh, I'm not going to let my team beat themselves up. You know, we're going to flush this. We're going to celebrate the victory. There are some things we did well, and we'll be ready. I won't have to get them amped up for that game, that game on, um, on um, Sunday. To that, knowing the two emotional games, you kind of had sandwiched this week, and yeah. maybe it was a non factor with how you all approached. But how Could have been a setup game for us, this uh, one here. How did you kind of want to approach this week with, with all that, this, this, these three-game stretch? Rest. Less is more. 
less is more. Our team, um, we had winter training camp. That's what we call it when we don't have games and classes and we can just really work on ourselves. It's conference play now. So we really got to just block out the noise. You know, there are going to be people who say, oh, we got to score. Duh. But we need to win. Okay? Um, it's about winning. <laughs> you know, whether you score 80 points, whether you score 58, it's about winning. Because trust me, I would have been one sad puppy had this score been reversed up in here today. I ain't feel like doing that. I ain't feel like doing that to my husband. I ain't feel like doing that to my kids. You know, I didn't feel like having to do that to my team nor my staff. It is about figuring out ways to win. I just watched an undefeated team go down yesterday by a team that was 0-3. It's about figuring out ways to win. Really glad we figured out a way to win tonight. Any other questions? Great. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.